asked him to create some reports and ultimately a dashboard for an upcoming presentation along with a list of reports his boss needs. John began racking his brain, searching for ways to create a beautiful dashboard as quickly as possible due to the time limit. Here is the dataset we will be using today. You can download this file using the link in the description box if you want to follow along. The dataset contains information on retailers, invoice data, region, state, city, gender, product category, unit price, unit sold, total revenue, total revenue equals unit price times unit sold. operating profit, operating margin, and sales method. A detailed examination of the dataset reveals that there are six retailers, ranging from Amazon to Westgear. Invoice data for the year 2022 and 2023. Sales informations on almost all U.S. states. Gender type and product category, with nearly 30,000 observations, working with this data manually is very time-consuming. This is where pivot tables come in. There is a link in the description to a video that teaches pivot tables. So, let's get started. First, ensure that the data is clean with no blank rows or columns. Then, navigate to Insert and click on Table. Excel automatically detects the table range. Since the table has headers, make sure to check the box indicating this. Once the table is inserted, click on any cell within the table. Then. Navigate to the Insert tab again and click on Pivot Tables. We see the table name Table 1. Let's have the pivot tables in a new sheet. The left hand side tells us to build a report by choosing fields from Pivot Table field list. Here are the field list, thus, our table headers. We simply drag and drop the headers into these boxes, and a report is generated. Let's rename this sheet as Pivot Table. First, we are interested in total units sold. Just drag and drop it into the Sum Values box, along with Revenue, Total Operating Profit, and Operating Margin. I want to have total revenue before operating profit. Just drag and place it in front of operating profit. To make sense, we need to change the sum of operating margin to average margin. We can enhance the presentation of the result by formatting all the values in the cells, reducing the decimal places, and inserting currency symbols where appropriate. The first report is ready. Copy and paste the table to create the next report. We want to know the units sold for each product category per year. Let's clear everything by dragging them out from the boxes and start from scratch. Product category goes to the rows box. Units sold in some values box and invoice date in the columns box. Let's remove the time dimensions that we don't need by dragging them out. Report is ready. Let's copy and paste to start the next report.
We are interested in units sold for each product category at gender type dimension. Just replace year with gender type. Report is ready. We copy and paste to start the last report. Last, we want units sold in each state in the U.S. All reports are now ready. The next step is to add visual dimensions and slicers for the dashboard. Let's insert a bar graph that shows the units of each product category sold for both men and women. Click on any cell within the table, then navigate to Pivot Table Analyze, and click on Pivot Chart. Let's go with this bar chart. We'll add some flair to enhance the appearance of the chart. At this point, you can personalize the graph to improve its appearance. For instance, I chose to place the women's bar inside the men by making secondary axis. I then increased the series overlay of the men's bar. As for colors, I'll stick with the default since I'm not good at selecting them. Next, Let's insert a heat map for units sold in each U.S. state. Note, this approach doesn't work, so we need to find an alternative method. Let's get a copy of the result in the pivot table at this place. Equals. Select the first country. Then drag to the right. And finally, select downwards. Press Ctrl plus D to copy the formula down. It's important to remove the grand total because it can interfere with the graph, especially if a retailer isn't operating in all states. Now, select the entire table, then go to the Insert tab, click on Maps, and choose Filled Map. Similar to the first one, we can improve the appearance by removing unnecessary labels and choosing preferred colors. Now, let's add a slicer. First, click on any cell in the pivot table, then go to Pivot Table Analyze, and click on Insert Slicer. Let's select Retailer, and Year. Sorry, I made a mistake. Let me delete this slicer and select Year. You may have noticed that there are some years showing up on the slicer without any data linked to them. Let's hide those. Let's enhance the appearance of the slicers.
Everything is working as expected. However, you might have noticed that only the heat map is connected to the slicers, while the other pivot tables are not. Let's connect all the tables to these slicers to synchronize them. Select a cell in a pivot table, then go to Pivot Table Analyze, and click on Filter Connections. Select the two slicers. We have connected the gender pivot table, and everything is working fine. Let's connect the others by following the same steps. Let's begin the design of the dashboard by adding a new sheet. I'm going to speed up the stage because I don't want the video to be long. Here is where I'm going to place the slicers. Next, we create the company banner with the company name and logo. Go to Insert, and under Illustrations, choose the desired shape. Place the cursor at the desired location, and drag to create the shape to the desired size. Choose your desired color. Hold down the Control and Shift key. Drag down to create a copy. We are creating 4 KPEs, units sold, total revenue, operating profit, and average margin. We will insert the product category names by referencing them from the pivot tables sheet. Do same for the other two. Apply any formatting style to it. Merge two cells to create a larger space for the unit solders under each year. Similarly, sign the values from the pivotables to fill their respective spaces. Attention, we need to remove the filters from the slicers to display the complete table before assigning values. We now do the assignment. Apply your preferred formatting style. Next, we copy the bar chart to the section. Adjust the size till everything fits. Well, Under Fill, choose No Fill, and Border, No Line. Next, copy and paste the map. Adjust the size. Bring the slicers to the size U2.
Let's try it. Everything is working. Wait, there is an error. We don't want to see these when a year is selected. Let's manage it. Insert the if error function in front of all the formulas for error management. If error, return dash. Do same for the other formulas. Perfect. Let's create headers for these two graphs. Choose no line under border for the map too. Time for the KPIs, we label them. Select and format it. Use the Format Painter to apply the same formatting style. Do same for the others. Let's add a text box. Go to Insert, then to Illustrations, under Shares, select Text. Drag and create a text box on each shape. Under Shape Format, choose No Fill. Then, No Outlines. Here, we cannot simply assign the values in the pivot tables directly to the text box on the KPIs, as we did for the Product Category section. Let's create a copy of the pivot table result as we did for the map section. Equals, select, then, drag to the right, finally, down. Now, we can assign the values into the text box. We can't format the values here. We have to go to the source data and format it there. Let's insert a text box in the remaining KPIs, apply same format, and assign their values.
Let's keep the text color white. Update the entries. Insert a name in the header and a logo. Now, we've successfully utilized pivot tables to create this dynamic report, which presents information on units sold, total revenue, operating profit, and average operating margin. It also provides details on the units of each product category sold. Additionally, there's a bar chart comparing units sold for men and women. Finally, there's a state map showing which state's products are performing well in, either individually or as a group for each year, or combined. There are two mistakes in the dashboard. 1. The units sold for each product category should not be in currency format. 2. The bars in the bar chart should be in reverse order to correspond to the labels at the left hand. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching.